I'm Sharunas from OxidEasels and I'm going to show you how to use some new functionality coming with 4.5.0 release of the eShop. Currently, while developing custom model functionality for the eShop is very easy, the modification and maintenance of templates was still relatively complex and time-consuming. To address this, block override mechanism was implemented. It allows models to override any predefined template block with a custom one without touching the original templates at all. As an example, I will show how to extend Partners logo box from the start page. To do this, we will uh, check the original template and see if it has any blocks. Here we see Partner logos block, which we will use to extend. We create our model directory, which is Partner logo, and inside it we will add blocks subdirectory, which will contain contents of our blocks. My parent TPL block is just our logo which is styled in a div and it depends the original block contents marked by smart block parent. As we have a file now we have to activate it in our database by providing the path to the original template and is the path from TPL directory and then we add partner logos block name which we override and then we enter partner logo name and my partner base name of the file. And after we activate it we have to delete smart temp cache in order for it to regenerate all templates again. After we reload the page, we will see our newly created block appended to the partner's box. Here it is. And to explain how several blocks can be ordered, I will create another block, which only adds a red border to its parent. We will create a red border TPL file, which is a simple div surrounding the original contents. and then we will activate it in database. It is a simple div surrounding smart block parent and this div is styled with just a red border. After we create it, we have to activate it the similar way as we did before, just entering new file base name into the database. And as we activate it, we have to delete the smart temp cache again. And after reloading the page, we can see how the red border is displayed. Now, if we would like to use the red border only for the parent original block but leave our own log with only green border, we would just need to change the position parameter in the database and so the my partner would be included second and that border would be used first for the original block. After we delete, delete the temp and reload the page, we can see how our new layout looks like. Also, OxyD Shop will report if any model wants to override non-existing block, so we will enable some false blocks too. One block tries to extend non-existing template, while the other one tries to look for non-existing block in the template itself. After we load admin system health panel, we can see those blocks showed in a list, so we can 
take action either to disable the model or to look for updates. Sometimes it is easier to check currently working shop uh, layout and see if there are any usable blocks for our model in progress. And to do this, we activate debug template blocks flag in configing PHP. And after deleting the temp cache, we can see how the blocks are layouted in the eShop. So we reload the page. And after this, we can see how all blocks are shown in the front end. Here you can see all available blocks for the current page and they are wrapped by visual notifiers which can be turned on or off. As you can see, currently only a small set of blocks are predefined which allow only a very limited usage. Ideas of good usable places to predefine blocks are always welcome on Oxid developers mailing list. As you can see, using blocks is simple and flexible, and if you have more questions, please feel free to ask them in the Oxid Developers mailing list.